I'm Abby Lovett, and I've been competing in speech and debate for seven years now, and I wanted to share with you today the journey I went through from being a novice debater to becoming an intermediate debater. I think that the hardest thing about this transition period between those two different levels of debate was trying to keep up with everyone else. I started debate at a very young age. I think I was about 12 years old, which in hindsight is way too young to start debate which means I was always trying to keep up with the person ahead of me. In the end, that actually encouraged me to become a more advanced, more intermediate debater, but at first, trying to compare myself to the other people, trying to keep up with the research and the understanding of all these issues was very complicated. The best part of going from a beginner debater to an intermediate debater was that debate rounds got a whole lot easier. I went from being stressed and nervous and confused almost every single debate round to actually being confident in every single round. And although I still messed up, an intermediate debater isn't the best debater out there, but I was much more confident and I was much more comfortable in debate rounds. So becoming an intermediate debater was difficult because I had to keep up with everyone else, but it was well worth it because in the end, I was less confused and much more relaxed in the debate rounds, which caused me to be a much better debater. I would say that the key points in becoming an intermediate debater from a novice level are a couple different things. First of all, you need to be able to flow. This is something I did not understand as a novice debater. I thought that as long as I was listening to what was being said that I got it, but I would say that the number one thing that took me from being a novice debater to an intermediate debater was not only being able to take notes in the round, but comprehensive notes that I was able to translate into my own outline. This took my debating to the next level. But the other thing that took me from being a novice debater to an intermediate debater was finding mentors around me and people who were much older than me that would be able to help out. I've seen so many times that people tend to just want to compete with the people that are above them or they're nervous about asking for help because they feel like they should be at that certain stage. But I found in my own personal experience that going to these other people who were much more advanced than you actually helped me become a better debater. My favorite example is when I was trying to learn stock issues as a novice debater and someone who was far better than me, who was actually my debate coach at the time, came down and sat next to me and explained to me the entire process of what stock issues were and helped me go through a few different exercises to understand them. So that mentorship, not only from my debate coach at the time, but through all the debate coaches I've had throughout the years, has been crucial in becoming an intermediate debater. But I would say that the third thing that is super important to becoming an intermediate debater is practice. I never really understood how you could practice a debate round, but as I started becoming more of an intermediate debater, every single week in club I wanted to do a debate round, or I would practice reading my 1AC, or I would practice flowing, whether it was on YouTube or a sermon or just taking notes during the day. I wanted to practice so that whenever I got into a debate round, I was much more prepared to do that. And that everyday practice and just uh, learning through experience of what I had just learned through a textbook or through a lecture took me through that stage. I would say that I knew that I had become an intermediate debater when I was able to take all of those things that my mentors had taught me and that I was practicing through exercises and experience when I was actually able to explain those different things to another person. When I was not only able to explain them, but in a debate round, I felt much more confident actually using them. So you know you're kind of an advanced debater when you feel comfortable, or an intermediate debater, I should say, when you feel comfortable and when you're able to explain what you're actually learning at the moment. So after you become an intermediate debater, uh, I would say that the best thing to do is actually find other people that you can mentor. Take the novice debaters and mentor them just like other people mentored you. The reason why this is so important as an intermediate debater is because when you can explain an issue and when you can take a mentor or a, a mentee and teach them and help them with exercises, then you once again understand those issues far better.